Everybody in the book was black. Because in the Christian church, all they push is white supremacy. In the Bible, you'll never find a white Jesus. In the Bible, you, you won't find going to church on Sunday. In the Bible, you won't find Christmas. But you find all these things in the Christian church. So what we come out here to do is to show our people that the issue is not with the Bible. And look, I ain't catch your name either. What's your name, bro? Chris? Now, Chris, the issue that we have is not with the Bible. The issue that we have is with the Christian church because they've been lying to our people. Now, give me Job 30 and 30. Let me give y'all some, some basic scriptures. Read what you the got. The book of Job, chapter 30 and verse 30. Uh-huh. My skin. So the prophet Job says that his skin, Chris, is black. Is what? Is black. Job told us what he looked like. He said that his skin skin is black what upon me upon him how you get a white man out of that right now i'm gonna give y'all some more examples give me song of solomon one and five king solomon the wisest man that ever lived no we ain't talking about mansa musa that's some old garbage the wisest man the richest man that ever lived was king solomon you read about him in the bible right all right check this out the book of Songs of Solomon, uh -huh. chapter 1 and verse 5. He going to tell you what he looked like. I am black, but comely. King Solomon said that he's what, Chris? He black. But when you go to the Christian church, all you get is the white images and the white doctrine and the white philosophy. So we come out here to tell our, look, don't go to church. We ain't trying to get nobody to go to church. We ain't no choir boys up here. We ain't singing you no songs. Right. We giving you your heritage back. That's right. We fell away from our heritage. We had our own dress code, Imani. Stink, we had our own dietary law. Blue, we got our own holidays that we supposed to celebrate. Right. All of that you find right here in this book called the Bible. But you can't get it in the Christian church. Teach. Come build with us, learn who you are. You the real Jews according to the Bible. That's right. You got, uh, we finished that? No, oh, sir. Finish that up. I am black, but comely, uh -huh. O ye daughters of Jerusalem. King Solomon said he's black and comely. Comely means beautiful. Ho, drop that, give me Lamentations. I think yes, this is I five, five and eight. I got you. Yes, sir. Give me Lamentations. I'm going to give y'all a couple examples so that y'all understand that your true image is in the book that your slave master stole from you. But you got to take your book back. You got to take your heritage back. Right. That's how we're going to take this world back. Right. That's how we're going to take this planet back. Right. But it's going to start with us gathering together under this book right here. Teach. Read what you got. The book of Lamentations, chapter 4 and verse 8. Lamentations 4 and 8. Read. Their visage. Hey, Chris. The scripture says their visage. Hey, Chris, do me a silent, bro. Put the cigarette out for me. All praise to the Most High. All praise to the Most High. No, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Now, when the scripture says your visage, I want, I want to define that word for you. Because sometimes the, 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 they say the Bible is written at a uh, college level, college reading level. So we're going to look that word up real quick. Visage. V-I-S-A-G-E. Visage. Let's see who get it first. V-I-S-A-G-E. All right. I got the definition of visage right here. Merriam-Webster Dictionary. All right. Go ahead and read it. No, no, no. Merriam-Webster. Yes, sir. Visage in a Merriam-Webster dictionary. Uh huh. The face. It says the face, the countenance, the countenance, or appearance of a person or sometimes an animal. So the the Bible says that their visage. So we're talking about the a person's facial features, the appearance of a person's face. Everybody with me? Their visage is the appearance of their face. Now read it again. Their visage, the appearance of their face, is blacker, is blacker than a coal, than a coal. Whoever had a cookout before? You sparked the coals up, right? What color are those coals? They black. That's right. Bring Everybody that we reading about in the Bible, I take you to the Old Testament, to the New Testament, in the middle of both of the Testaments, and all you are gonna read about is black people. See? All you are gonna read about is black people, Chris. Right. But they hid that from you because they don't want you to be associated with this book. You, you get a flyer, Chris? Yeah. Hey, call the number on the back, man. We want to build with you, all right? All right. Uh, 
Say it again. All right, read, read the next one you got. The Book of Lamentation, chapter 5 and verse 10. Uh -huh. Bring it up. Our skin. Our skin. Was black. Was black. Like an oven. Black like an oven. You stick something, Imani. You ever bake some cookies before? What happened if you leave the cookies in the oven too long? They get burnt. They get burnt, right? They get burnt. All right, now look. The greatest man that ever walked the face of the earth, I'm going to give it back to my brother. Jesus the Christ. Jesus the Christ. In the book of Revelation, you can read about what he looks like. Now come over here real quick, Imani. These pictures kind of small. Which one of these two images did they tell us looks like Jesus Christ? This one up here or this one down here? These down here, right? That's what they said. Hey, Blue, this is the last scripture. I want you to check this one out about Christ. I know you tried to slide on me. You tried to slide on me, Blue. Blue tried to slide on me. But look, check this out. Check this out. Because I want you to know Jesus ain't no white man. He ain't no white Messiah, right? He don't want you to go to church on Sunday, all right? He wants you to keep his commandments that he gave us. Right? But when you look in the mirror, I want you to see Christ. When your daughters look at you, I want them to see Christ. Whoa. Right? That's what I need for my daughters. I got daughters too. Right? But they need to know this about the greatest man that walked the face of the earth. They need to know that they daddy looked just like that great man. Right. Read Revelation 1. Go ahead, jump to verse 14. Yes, sir. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. Everybody listen good. We're talking about the true image of Christ. My sister right here walking away. I thought you was coming up. I thought you was coming to come talk to me. Read what you got. His head and his hairs were white like wool. White like wool. You see this right here, this beautiful textured hair you got right here? That's woolly textured hair. Right. That's the same textured hair as your Messiah, bro. Right. His hair right there look just like your hair right here. Teach. Read on. As white as snow. And it was white as snow. We're going we gonna to paint a picture based on what's actually written in the book. Because his hair don't look like white woolly hair, do it? It's, it's like dog it's hair, a little stringy good. hair, right? Like white people hair, right? That ain't what Christ, that's not what's being described in Revelation 1 and 14. Read on. And his eyes uh -huh. were as a flame of fire. His eyes as a flame of fire. You got a bottle of what? Vodka in, the, in your back pocket? Tequila. Tequila, right? You hit you a couple shots of that. What happened to the whites of your eyes? Dark up. They turn red. Yeah. They turn red. That's what happened when we drink a little bit. It was prophesied that Christ would drink wine. Hold that. Give me Genesis 49 and 20. Yes, sir. Real quick. Real quick. Because a lot of times people think that the Bible is like some fairy tale. It's like some some like comic book. Like it's some, some crazy-ish going on. Now, it's going to be some crazy stuff happening later on. But when we talking about Christ having red eyes, we ain't talking about no Cyclops. Right. Not right now. We're talking about a man that did this according to the prophecy. Read. The book of Genesis, chapter 49 and verse 12. Read what you got. His eyes shall be red, red with wine. With wine. When we drink strong drink alcohol, the whites of our eyes turn what? They turn red. So we're talking about some basic stuff right here. We ain't talking about no comic book. Right. Go back to Revelation 1. Finish up verse 14. I'm going to give you verse 15. I'm going to let my brother come back up. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. Uh-huh. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Big afro. Big white afro. Read. As white as snow. Uh-huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Flame of fire is red because he drank wine in moderation. Read on. And his feet. And his feet. Like unto fine brass. Like unto fine brass. As if they burn in a furnace. You seen a bullet shell before, right? You seen a bullet? You got the lead at the top of the bullet, and then the shell is made out of what? Brass. That's why they got some hot brass, right? Because the shell is made out of brass. Now, you ain't know that, okay. But you know the color of a, of a, of a shell, right? What color is it? Does it look like a white person, or does it look like somebody of color? Somebody with color Right, all right. Now, before you shoot that gun, it's just regular brass, before you shoot that bullet. But once you pull that trigger, what happens inside the chamber of that? It catch on fire. It catch on fire and it ignite, right? Now the shell gonna look a little different after the bullet is shot than it did before it got shot. What's gonna happen to the shell? Is it gonna get lighter or darker from the fire? Darker. It's gonna get darker. It's gonna get black. It's gonna get real dark from the explosion that happened to cause that bullet to fly. Teach. So the Bible is giving you a depiction of what your real savior look like. 
And guess who he looks like? He looks just like you, my brother. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is you. And I